Hello! In this video, uh, I'm going to teach you how to read a Word document using Python. So, um, this video is going to be quite short because it's quite simple to uh, read a, par uh, uh, a Word document. So, the first thing we need to do is uh, import docx, that's the library we're going to use. And uh, let's make a function for this. Let's say we're defining new function, we're, call we're calling it read doc, and we're going to take in the file name as a parameter. So the way we do this is we simply we instantiate our document um, uh, our document object um, like this but instead of leaving this these parameters blank uh, we're gonna fill in this with the file name um, reason being if you left this blank that would create a new word document uh, which we don't want so Anyway, um, let's continue then. So we're going to make a list, empty list called paragraphs. I'm going to say for paragraph in. Now the way we access paragraphs is from a Word document is we do doc dot paragraph. Of course, in reference to the document object we created there. Um, okay, so let me show you the uh, Word document we're going to look at. It's called a hello underscore world. And this is it. So we've got hello world, then we've got some blank lines, and then we've got this is a separate paragraph, and then a bullet point, and then two sentences. So um, we're going to, the re, the re, we, need, we need to combat these blank lines because they're read as a paragraph, because they technically are a paragraph um, in Word. So they're going to be read in with doc dot paragraph, but they have no data in them. So we're just going to say if len, so the length of paragraph dot text is greater than zero, then we're going to say paragraphs dot append paragraph dot text. So we're making a list of all the text, right? And then we're going to print our paragraph at the end. Our paragraphs, I should say, plural. There we go. Right. Okay, and then now all we have to do is call this function on the file. So we're going to say hello underscore world dot docx. There we go. So we need to make sure you got your extension in there. So if we run this now, Oh, no object. Uh, hold on, hold on a minute. Hold on. Uh, it says for da, 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 no, document has no object paragraph. Let's see what lines that complaining about for paragraph in doc dot paragraphs plural. Sorry about that. So yes, you need to make that plural. Sorry about that. Read read it now, and then you can see we've got our list. Hello world is the first line. And then this is a separate paragraph, and then this is a bullet point, um, and then this is a sentence, this is another sentence. So you can see that we've read the file. So let's say we have um, our test document here that we made in a separate video. So we have um, our task doc document here with an image and then some headings. So let's see what the what we get whenever we run this on um, on that document there. So we get uh, task test doc. Hello, this is a word document using Python. Heading level one, heading level two. This line is in italics. So we get all the text. Okay, so it doesn't matter what form the text is in, we get all the text using paragraphs.text, paragraph.text, doc.paragraphs, you know. Um, so, yes. So, um, let's, let's try it now on um, the table Word document. So, that's what we have there. So, if we look at table... Let's see what we get. We run this now. We only get the word table document. Now, if we open this up, you can see that 
that's there, but we don't get any of the text in the table. This is because we're not actually reading the um, table, because the table is considered a different thing to a paragraph in Word. So um, you would actually have to um, do doc dot um, table to access the table um, ta the table there, the table object. Oh, sorry, I know it's out of the uh, out of the scope of the function there. Sorry, All right, hold on, and then we run this again. Uh, hold on. Print help doc. Let's see, because it's it's one of the attributes in here. Tables plural, of course. Oh, oh well, uh, yeah, the doc dot table. And I think I'll uh, just show you that there. So there you go. You've got your table object there, and using your um, using that table object, you can then reference elements in the uh, in the um, table itself um, by an index there, and then you can also use like pop remove and you can remove and you can add you can manipulate the table object from there but do but bear in mind that if you do do that you will need to save the document again so anyway that's that's just a simple video guys on how you um read a word document uh, using word there thanks bye